Hi, welcome to Numia Medical Technology. I'm Courtney, and today I will be showing you how simple it is to operate the Microfuse syringe infuser. There are three pumps in the Microfuse line, the dual rate, the rapid rate, and the extended rate. The operation is the same for all three pumps. The difference is in the rate at which they administer medications. For this demonstration, I am using the dual rate pump. Each microfuse pump has two rates for infusion, normal, indicated by the rabbit, and slow, indicated by the turtle. First, slide the on-off switch to the on position. The rate at which the pump has been set will light up. To change the rate, depress and hold the flow rate button for three seconds until the other light flashes. The dual and extended rate pumps have an additional feature, a rate lock switch inside the battery compartment. To remove the battery caddy, squeeze the retention tabs on each side of the microfuse pump and slide it out. The caddy holds two C batteries. The lock switch is inside the battery caddy compartment. If the switch is set to lock, the rate you have already chosen cannot be changed. To change the rate later, you'll need to set the switch to unlock. Next, simply load the battery pack back into place and slide the small silver bar at the end of the pump up to secure the battery caddy. Now you are ready to set up the Microfuse dual rate pump for an infusion. This pump accepts 5 to 140 cc syringes and is quick and easy to set up. Refer to your user manual for the brands of accepted syringes. The filled syringe should be attached to an administration set and primed to eliminate any air. To load a syringe, make sure the power switch is set to off. Slide the syringe driver arm to the top of the pump. It won't move if the power is on. Do not force the arm as it will damage the pump. Lift up on the syringe holder and set the syringe into the syringe flange slot in the middle of the pump and lower the arm back into place. Finally, move the syringe driver arm to meet the syringe and lift up on the syringe and set the syringe plunger flange into the slot on the driver arm. The duration of an infusion is determined by the size of the syringe, how full it is, and the pump rate. The duration is indicated here on the top panel of the pump. Consult your manual for detailed rate charts. Once the syringe is in place, the flow rate determined, and the administration set is properly attached to the patient, slide the on-off switch to the on position, and you can begin the infusion. If during the infusion your batteries are running low, an alarm will sound. The low battery LED light will flash. Change the batteries as soon as possible. There are only a few hours left when the alarm occurs. If there is an occlusion or any other malfunction, this top alarm LED will light up and an alarm will sound. For these, please consult your user manual. To mute the alarm, press the alarm mute button for three seconds. It is located next to the flow rate button. The LED lights will continue to flash until the cause of the alarm is remedied. The alarm will also sound when the syringe is empty, signaling that the infusion is complete. The Microfuse dual rate syringe infuser is just that easy to use. For Numia Medical Technology, this is Courtney. Thanks for watching and have a great day.